All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we've already managed to track down another match right now. We're going to jump into it uh, just uh, one round late here. We're going to be watching L Team LDLC versus Bronk. Uh, looks like another French team this here. This is map two of a best of three. Uh, we are joining halfway through. Um, LDLC took the first map that was jump to frag. This one is Fortress. We're on uh, round two now. The score is one to zero in favor of Bronk. Yeah, right now we've got... Uh Cry W? Crew? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with Crew. Going to be trying to push it. Yeah, we're going to go with Crew. He's going to be trying to push up one side. Uh, you can see really using that sprint mechanic to rip on over to the other side of the map as quickly as he possibly can. But it does look like the defensive team, LDLC, has gotten a read on which side of the map he is right now. Looks like he's managed to work his way into a little bit of a corner here. Maybe not completely familiar with these uh, new maps here. 13 seconds left on the clock. He's going to have to make a play. He's going to have to gun down. Three people are captured at this point. Already taking one hit from these rockets. Starting to get surrounded. It's exactly what you don't want to have happen to you. He's going to run to the point, and he will be able to capture. Sure, not able to hit the shots that they need. Great job by crew. Oh, dude, it's Momo. That's, that's another objective. That's another objective we haven't seen actually happen just because uh, COLWN was so dominant with their fragging. If you can actually ca capture the point, all three defenders are alive, you, you can still win the round. Oh. Which is uh, thing I really like here. If your movement is just. The tiny bit quick enough that you can dodge all the rockets coming at you, you can still take the points and, uh, and win your team the game. Now we've got Mamal here uh, pushing up towards the, these angled fences, flanking around Outrage. That was wow. what was Outrage doing there? He just allowed him to walk all the way around him in complete view and rail him in the back. Now Nanushka on the point now, but uh, oh, Mamal gonna get surrounded here, takes a rocket. He's got one armor left, gets knocked all the way down that spiral ramp. He's got to work his way back up to the top for the objective. And Nanushka and crew on the point, and they're going to be defending against Mama with one point of armor left. This is not a good situation for LDLC to be in, and there he goes. Down again. Bronk going to take another point on the scoreboard. 3-0 to zero is the scoreboard now in favor of red team. And we've got Outrage on the red team now. Uh, headed out for the attack. Take it away. Yeah, so right now we're going to see Arisha finally managed to track down his camera. He's going to be trying to go for the picks. You can see right there in the middle of the screen is that zoom pad. Mama did manage to actually take a hit from it. Uh, the defensive team can use the zoom pads if you get hit by uh, a, an enemy or a defensive Ooh. rail. Only does one damage you rather than actually completely one hitting you here. Um, and now we are going to see Outrage. Just going to try to continue to work the angle, see if he can get any picks. A lot of spam coming in. Mama getting a little bit risky out there, peeking out there for a second. Look at this. Still trying to uh, get an advantage. Ooh, misses that rail. Gets hit. Oh, no. And, ah, not a good look right now. He's getting down to one armor. Four seconds left on the clock. He's going to have to make a break for it. Defensive team is now going to be stacking up. There it goes. There it Managed is. to last that, land rock, that last rocket. Some of you guys might recognize the name Moma. He is a StarCraft player. He used to play for Team Millennium. Uh, he's got an absolutely fantastic NASL, uh, NASL audition video. He's a, a really, really nice guy, and I'm uh, really excited to see him actually playing. A uh, completely different genre here. Right now we've got uh, Hearts on the offensive right now. Uh, we're going to see him making his way around the side. We're going to see Crew looking like he's going to be setting up for the flank here. The defensive team really has already got a huge flank here. just set up. Very aggressive oh, defense. Geez. This, is, this could be really bad for them. Both, both of the defenders behind Hearts are completely exposed. If he lands either of those shots, then the defensive team is going to be at a huge disadvantage. They've got two guys behind them, behind the attacker, and there it is. One kill on t on two hearts now, or sorry, one armor down from hearts now is Outrage just getting uh -oh. in his face. That's two now, hearts hasn't landed a single shot, they're just getting in his face and annoying. Like, he can't land those close range rails, he just doesn't have the accuracy I guess. And there there goes the point to blue team and uh, Outrage doing some serious work there. Or no, I'm sorry, the point for red team. Yeah, it's one of the really really interesting things I like about this game is you can overwhelm the attacking player once you start to get really close the rockets uh, you know you have to deal with a rocket spam from all directions as well as players that are right up in your face trying to jam rockets down your throat
can be uh, very, very overwhelming and uh, really hard to deal with right now. We're going to see Nanushka on the offensive. is going to be making his way around the outside of the map here. He's going to have to try to dodge as much spam as he can, but he will not be able to do so as he takes a single hit. Here he's going to drop down behind this hill. And uh, you can see Momon's going to see if he can get one of these rail hits. and not going to be able to do so. It's going to whiff here waiting wow. for that rail going to research. Another spam rocket coming in and connecting with the face of Nanushka. Momon missing that rocket, that rail. Um, Nanushka down with a single HP remaining. He's going to have to be incredibly careful. And there goes Momon oh, just man. rushing him down, shoving a rocket right in his face. The score now 2-4. to four. It looks like LDLC is finally getting their feet about them. I like the use of zoom pad, but it's also a huge uh, risk as well, especially on the defensive team against those hitscan weapons. If, if you can't jump, you're sort of locked down and you only have two directions to move, and that's... Uh, I don't need to state how bad that is if you're against something that can hit you instantly and kill you. And uh, we see Drizzler now on the right-hand side of the map, flanking around. Uh, he's got uh, Crew, Outrage, and Nanushka all on him, though. They know exactly where he is. We saw this uh, this route being used by COLWN. I think it was Wins. He uh, he got himself into a good situation, and he managed to fly on the back. But now Crew's going to go down in, to, uh, to Drizzler's rail. Outrage and Nanushka now regrouping around the objective. But Drizzler's got to make his way across towards this cross pit here. here. And uh, Nanushka just sitting right on Wow. And uh, here comes the river. Happy as. And he waited for. And they just. Off. That. Three. Pretty well. They're, uh, they really reversed their. We've got crew headed around the left hand side of. Uh. uh now. Uh, just and rotate backwards to where he came from. Still have a B on him, and I don't think Crew is going to make much progress unless he lands an open frag here. And he's advancing on Maman through these angled cages, but oh. he's going to get him now. He's in a bad situation, takes one hit from the defending hearts out of position. Now he's going to get taken down there by Crew. And now uh, Drizzer, lone man left along on the point, and Crew's going to be working his way around that pole. Oh. Going to take down Drizzer. Excellent shot there wow. from Crew. Working those angles to perfection. Taking another point for the red team, and Bronk gonna extend their lead now, five to three on Fortress. Yeah, Momont is now up on point. Last time we saw him, kind of get dismantled when he was on offense. There, great shot coming Ooh. in there, just managing to dodge the spam rockets that were so close to connecting. Manages to take, tries to go for the pre-fire here onto that zoom pad, so he does not get hit with the rail. Does not connect, but does not get hit by the rail either. Oh, Still look an at excellent play nonetheless. Crew. And look at this, Crew thinks he's uh, still here around this corner here. Crew is trying to dance around him, but he's not actually there. Mama is now on the other side of the map. Crew looks like he might come in with a flank. Mama is going to hear him, though. He's going to go for the shot. Oh, two armor, no. or two armor lost almost immediately. That was going to get rushed down, pushed directly into the enemy spawn. Nowhere oh, to run, Mama has nowhere to go. And uh, getting taken down, eliminated almost instantly there. Not a lot he can do in the score now. Three That's going to gonna be it. I'm going to take the game. Great job by Team LDLC, but not quite going to be enough. Bronk doing an excellent job, uh, with especially with that last round. They're just rushing him down as soon as they realize that uh, there's going to be a little bit of a weakness in uh, the offensive play. That is going to be it, uh, I think. It, it looked like LDL or LDLC had sort of a revelation in their strategy halfway through. They started pulling it back, and they were playing a lot more aggressively on defense. But uh, it didn't quite pay off for them as... Uh, Bronk just continued their more solid uh, method of play. It looks like this is map 3, I believe. Yeah, we're going to go live here on Crossroad. Again, this is uh, this is the map that we got uh, destroyed by the bear team. I think it's one of the better ones, uh, along with Fortress and... Ah, um, oh, Castle Crasher, yeah. I believe, is the map's name? Solaris is my uh, favorite. I can't. Yes, Solar Flare or Solaris. It's better known now. They uh, they changed the versions of the map so quickly. But uh, <laughs> those are the three most solid maps, I believe. And uh, we've got Crew here starting off on Bronx oh, team. Oh, what? Wow! He takes two rockets straight to the <laughs> face from Spam. And it, it's basically already discounted <laughs> him from this match. And he, wow! 
<laughs> He's turning this around so well, and uh, Maman just shows him a face, and crew takes it off. And Drizzer's in a very exposed point here. He's got a he's got an angle from these uh, the archways into the cross pit area. And Cruz now working his way up to the top of the hill. Gonna encounter Hearts. He's gonna go down. This is a bad situation for Drizzer. One man with rockets against a rail here. And now he's spamming. He's got one shot left, recharging very now. Tricky. But uh, Cruz oh, is on the top. Oh, wow, excellent flank. And Drizzer had no idea. Cruz gonna <laughs> take that round right off. Bronk know what they're doing on this map, it seems, and LDLC's got to react really quickly to this sort of thing. Because, I mean, Drizzer was not at all prepared to become at from uh, from that rock over there, from behind the objective. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I know I've never personally seen that before, but I don't think the, that they've seen it either. And now we're going to see uh, Drizzer's going to be making his way around the... Ooh, failed trick jump. Uh, yeah, it looks like now he's just going to be abandoned trick jump. entirely. Uh, he has been uh, exposed... The defensive team knows where he is, and it looks like we're going to see them set up for a bit of... Uh, oh, we're going to see Crew is going to be standing up here on the zoom pad. Drizzer now is going to be pushing in and uh, see if he can land any hits here. Not quite ready to deal with the zoom pad. Almost falling into the water there. So close. Oh, oh boy. Getting hit by Will and Rockets. Oh, now he's going to start getting rushed down. Outrage is going to start pushing in as well, and Nanushka is yeah. going to be able to go down. But nonetheless, Nanushka able to land that last hit. The score now 0-2. Yeah, LDLC is, uh, they don't seem to grasp the concept of staying not surrounded. I mean, L or, um, Outrage, or, I'm sorry, Bronk is doing an excellent job of rotating their defense as soon as they locate the attacking team. They they just surround him and force him to, to make stupid mistakes, like you saw LDLC do there. They got frantic, started spamming rails, and they weren't picking their shots appropriately. Outrage was just acting as bait, where Drizzer's currently standing at that angled fence. Uh, but we've got Outrage here, uh, Mamal coming down from the zoom pad. He's gonna get taken down right away by Outrage, opening things up here. Outrage gonna move on Drizzer now, Drizzer just baiting him out. Hearts coming in from behind, Outrage gonna take some fire from, uh, from the objective side. And, uh, Hearts sort of exposed now, Outrage has a target, but he's still focusing on Drizzer behind that fence. Outrage now moving in towards the objective, Hearts gonna look to intercept him. That oh. rail gonna come out now, but he's got the goal, he just barely survived that with one shot remaining of armor. And uh, if LD had spammed wow. a tiny bit harder, they might have been able to force him off the objective there. Yeah, I... And uh, LDLC Mama on attack now. I quickly checked the amount of rockets that they had left at the end of that. Both of those players were literally like two pixels away from reloading another rocket to kill him. And uh, he had one armor left, so just down to Damn. the wire there. Mama now is going to be moving around. The just a matter of timing, huh? Yeah, you have to be really conservative with how you want to use those rockets. If you whiff too many, then uh, it could cost you the round. I think that's what we saw in that last uh, round there. We're going to see Outrage going to try to push in. He's really close to Momon now, but uh, will go down. But that has given oh, Crew boy. and Anushka the opportunity to reposition. He We're doesn't see Crew. crew. Oh, crew with a flank right now. And uh, Momon is going to be able to pick wow. up uh, Nanushka here. Crew's going to try to make his way in, but he's going to have to do it soon. And there's the pick Momon takes the round. That was some great play there. I I was gonna fault Mama for focusing so hard on Outrage at that L-shaped fence. I thought he was gonna get flanked again, but he, he took a much more aggressive stance toward it and started pushing. And uh, that forced uh, Nanushka to get out of position, and uh, Mama just capitalized on that. He took out all the play- he, he managed to get into the objective area before the defending team could, which is uh, quite, quite a huge advantage there. You can't really advance on that if you've got rockets versus rail. And now we see LDLC setting up on defense. Hearts going wide. It seems like Nanushka's going up the middle area since nobody's on zoom pad to counter this. They don't know he's there yet. And Nanushka gonna come in from the top now. Mama headed up that ramp. Nanushka on the zoom pad gonna gain a huge advantage now. He's gonna be able to pick into that objective site. But Mama down below just lurking in those tunnels. Nanushka's gonna drop down right behind him. I think that, yeah, they know where he is. Wow, nice rocket there from Hearts. Gonna take down one armor. One armor left on Nanushka oh. now. And those spam rockets gonna come in. And LDLC just gonna take that handily. I thought Nanushka was gonna was gonna take a couple frags there for sure. They had no idea where he was until he exposed himself. Uh, yeah, he definitely had an advantage that he just couldn't capitalize on. Oh, I got disconnected here. Me too. Uh oh. I wonder what happened. <laughs>